So today I'm gonna to show you how to make bird feeders that can cost you as low as just a little over a dollar or as high as a little over two dollars. So let's go in and make some bird feeders. And let me tell you something, these were a success. Now we're gonna make three bird feeders. All parts came from the Dollar Tree. Now they had this basket in with the plastic ware. I don't know why, where they have buckets and plastic containers, but they had them in gold and black, and I took black. This is actually a basket, so nothing's gonna fall out. And then you'll need a plant hanger, which you can get in their garden department. Now all you need to do is hook this on to each corner. There's nothing to it. It's the fastest, easiest feeder you're really going to make. No tools are needed. Just hook it on to the corner until you have it balanced right. And then you can use whatever bowl you've got laying around. Isn't that cute? The other thing you can do is use a food container, something that you're gonna recycle. Then you don't have to buy a bowl at all. And that's all you need to do. Now, if you want, you can add on a perch. You can use a zip tie or you can use a bread tie, a wire, anything. You can tie it on with string if you want to. Just put a zip tie on each side, one on one side and one on the other, and that will hold your perch. Now, if you're gonna use a plastic bowl, like a food tray or something, you can take a soldering iron, a drill, a hot needle, whatever you want, make some holes. By putting holes, if it rains, the seed may get wet, but it won't be underwater, and they'll still eat it. If you're going to use a bowl like this one, that's melamine, you really can't make holes in it, so keep that in mind. But you can always just take it out and tip the water out. So this is the next feeder we're gonna make. We're gonna use this flat wire rack. It was in the stationery department or the kids' school supplies. Why it's there, I don't know what they use it for, I don't know, but I'm gonna make a fabulous bird feeder with it. It's metal, it's gonna last a long time. This has a larger surface, so you will be able to put a larger tray on this, and you will need another plant hanger. And those, again, are found in the garden supply. And you'll hook the hooks on to one on each side and then one in the middle so you get a good balance there. And now you can slide on your tray. I actually got that tray at Dollar Tree. I thought it was really cute. They had them in blue. They had them in red. So you can pick out the tray you want. You may have something at home. Now this one, I actually picked up a set of three for $1.49 at the thrift store. So you might be able to look at a thrift store and get some really cool trays there. And that fits on there really nice. I like that size. But for now, I think I'm going to go with the red one. I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, being that this is flat, there's no lip, a bird could knock this over. It could swing and fall off. You could make holes and then zip tie it on. But if you do that, then you got to cut it if you want to take it off and wash it. So that's just something to think about. But it would be fine. The other thing you can do is you can make a hole here. This is a really nice plastic, easy to make a hole with a soldering iron. And I'm gonna make a large hole on the side next to the chain. You'll see what I'm doing here. So I love my soldering irons. I use it for everything. Best to use it outside though, but just make a hole big enough to slip the chain through. You're gonna unhook it the way I have it hooked here. I'm gonna unhook it and I'm gonna re-slip it through. Now that tray cannot go anywhere. You hook it back on to this shelf, the wire shelf, and look at that. The tray is gonna stay on there nice and snug and it won't swing off or anything. So it's gonna stay in place. And if you wanna take it off to clean it or do anything, all you have to do is unhook it and take the tray off. Now lately we've been having a lot of rain, yes, in Southern California, so I'm gonna go through and on each compartment here, I'm going to make a hole. So this way if it rains, the water will drain out, but the seed will still be dry enough for them to eat. Now this is the third one we're gonna make and it's gonna be the cheapest and the most fun. You're getting two for the price of one. So it's $1.25 at Dollar Tree for two of them. They're reef rings, look at that. Same thing, you're going to need a hanger for each one, unless you want to put them together and stack it. But I'm going to keep it separate. Now for balance, this one's really easy. See the three prongs, one all the way around? You're just going to put your hook on each one. You won't have to worry about it slipping anywhere. Just hook the hook onto each one. Right there, because if you put it on the other side, like I showed you, where it will slide and now it will stay steady. Look at that. And balance perfectly. Look, all done. Can't ask for anything easier and cheaper. Now here is the fun thing. At Dollar Tree, you get three bowls for the price of one. 
That's three of them. So you can make three feeders if you want to get another reef. Look at that. And you only need one bowl. And that bowl fits in the reef perfectly. It just drops in, making this one the easiest one to put together. Look at that. Perfect. It is ready to hang. And you can choose the color you want. I like red. It looks really pretty in the garden. Now on this one, I'm gonna also make the hole. So in case it rains or water gets in it, the water will run out, the seed will stay in there, and the birds will still eat it because they don't mind wet seed. They just don't want it again underwater. Now it is pretty much ready to hang out. But you know what? You can add a perch onto this. They probably will grip onto the wire if they flew by, but it's so easy to add a perch. I'm gonna go ahead here, and again, with zip ties, I'm just gonna add a small perch on the side. It's so small that I'm really just gonna put one perch on. So all you have to do is go ahead, use your zip tie, and just set it up the way you want. You don't need a really big perch. Now you can put on more, you can get fancy, do what you want. But this will be really nice, so being that there's not that much wire exposed, we'll give the birds a little bit of a place to land. And a small perch is perfect. And then I just cut off the end of the zip tie, and now you put the bowl back, and it is ready to hang. Is that cool? Well, let's put it this way. It's almost ready to hang. See, there's the zip tie, and there is your one perch. And like I said, one zip tie did the trick. And why did I say ready? There's a few of you out there that have been telling me, get that label off, it's bothering me. So the label's off, and now you put the bowl back, and it is ready to hang outside, add some bird seed, and feed those happy birds in your garden. So this is how I hung them up. You know how I have my cross beams. This keeps the hawks out. It just hung perfect, look at that. So I've got the small one there with the bowl drops in. See how it drops in? It cannot go anywhere. There's a little perch on it, not really necessary. Here's the other one just hanging up there, and it is right there. I'm using a recyclable food container. And then this bowl, I went ahead and invested a whole dollar twenty-five. It was so cute, and I put that on there. So you could splurge if you want to do that. And as I showed you, the thrift stores sell them too, and you can get them. I got three for a dollar fifty. But there they are, hung up. Now the birds can take their choice using it, and they have been using it. They've got feeders everywhere around here. But you know what? There's nothing more fun than having an assortment of feeders so each bird can use the one for their preference. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Make some bird feeders. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. So the feeders have been outside and I did find one flip. You'll see, see how the scrub jay comes in? That's a big, heavy bird. Watch when it takes off. They really push, see that? And watch when they try to land. They're really tough. So what I ended up doing is going out there with a preheated soldering iron. So I, all I had to do was plug it in, heat it up, and then just go for it. And I made a hole on the other side, just like I did the one. And now I strung that through. Look, I didn't even have to take the bowl out or anything. You could do all three holes if you want. I went with two right now and that's working. See that? Now that bowl's not going anywhere. So maybe adding in an extra one would be good. That's a little house finch. Looks like a female. She came in right away as soon as I left to go feed on the seed. We use seed from the pet store. We use pet grade. We don't just buy the wild bird mix. I like to buy a parakeet mix along with some sunflower seed and finch mix. And this way all the birds are covered for the types of seeds they may like to eat. And that's it. Now they're coming in. That looks like it could be either a song sparrow or a fox sparrow. They're very similar. I'd have to get a little closer to see. But they're all coming in. And of course the white crowns come in. And I've had towies in here. And the doves are coming in now. And it works out perfect. Where can you get a feeder for $2 that's going to last you for years? This isn't plastic, just the trays. It's metal. I think this is one of the greatest things you can put together. It takes really minutes to put together and you'll have it for years of enjoyment. To feed the birds, the birds will be happy and so will you. So I just wanted to come back with this little added note. Look at it and then if you want perches, more perches, go ahead, get some zip ties or wire and add some more perches to your feeders. How fun, this has been a blast. I love it and so do they.